ओके हाय तरुणा हाउ आर यू हाय प्रिया आई एम फाइन हाउ यू या आई एम आल्सो गुड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग हियर ऑन दिस सेशन एंड एक्सेप्टिंग द इनविटेशन एंड वी कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस सेशन नाउ and uh, first of all i would like you uh, to request you to share your interview experience at uh, hul and of course the other companies uh, if you had shortlisted there so please share your interview experience at these companies yeah sure thank you priya for inviting me as well so we'll first start with uh, i was shortlisted in many companies like ubs abg sapla and indofil and rbl also first i'll start with the hul and which i'm currently doing the industrial training so uh, the first uh, i got in call from the hr that i have shortlisted and my interview got scheduled so the first question there were two panelists in my interview the first question was walk me through your resume that is just a common question in all the interview mm. the second was on my article ship experience because i was from an audit experience and i was giving interview for uh, tax operation teams mm. so the first question was uh, walk me through your resume the second was the uh, article ship experience the third question was what is your favorite subject okay. <laughs> in ca finals what is your favorite subject so mine mm. was audit so they had started uh, asking me questions about sa701 sa705 in that particularly he audit matters other matter paragraphs mm. and emphasis of matter paragraph you know so these were the questions from audit uh, which were my favorite subjects and then they started asking questions about the gst like uh, mm. block gst mm. and then the question were about the gst working capital how does it function mm. and the uh, cases which are covered in block itc which are all our cases in covered in block itc so okay. these were the flow and the interview mm. lasted for 45 minutes oh okay <laughs> so these were the basic questions they have asked me and there were one technical uh, uh, round only okay so after that i got called from an hr that i got selected oh okay and uh, what about the other companies any other specific questions you can share so the first company in which i have given an interview was the ubs the investment domain in which i have given an interview so there were uh, two technical rounds basically in the first one they have tested me on the current affairs the current affairs knowledge the general knowledge questions and the second technical round was they uh, they had asked me questions about the balance sheet if you have given a balance sheet of the company how mm-hmm. you will know the position of the company the ratios and all so these were the questions uh, in the ubs interview they have asked me okay. if we go next the second uh, company was the indofil in which i was shortlisted for the interview mm. the indofil is an agricultural based company actually agri chemical company okay. so the interview questions there were my uh, basically was from my article experience only there were no technical questions mm. so the interview questions was only from my article experience in indofil in uh, about abg and sapla actually uh, for abg and sipla i got a call for interview after i got selected in hul so okay. i didn't appeared for the interview i have just given a computer based test because i i already had accepted the offer with mm. hul so i didn't appeared for that for uh, i had al- uh, also had interview with uh, tata starbucks mm. in which uh, the domain was the finance domain so the interview questions in that was the statutory compliance part like pf tds pt mm-hmm. how they were calculated how it is applicable the rates and all so these were the questions in tata starbucks interview i had okay great great question and uh, okay so uh, now we can uh, you can share your uh, work experience at actual i mean what was the exactly work you were doing in your day to day life and uh, was there anything kind of weekends work or late work so we want to know about this please share yeah sure so in actual i got the best team best people around me so this can vary from uh, actually case to case yeah of course uh, <laughs> and for about timings this is the normal timing 11 to 7 sometimes because of due dates you have yeah. to see it one or two hours mm. late but uh, the timing is flexible enough for a students because they have their studies also 
so about my profile i am in tech ops team so basically we do itc reconciliation i handle itc reconciliation and export refin part so these are the two okay. uh, uh work i do with mainly itc reconciliation and export refin so because you are see uh, the as parents would want to do the industrial training there should mm. be a willingness because see <laughs> i was applying from 6 uh, month earlier when i was eligible like if i am eligible in feb i was applying from september october because you okay. should first get to know how the process are mm. you should start applying you get sometimes response you get sometimes rejected so you should be willing enough to apply because my third year was starting from 1st march and i got selected on 28th feb so just one day <laughs> earlier of starting my third year of article shift Mm. so you should be willing enough and you should be confident Correct. enough that you want it and you will have to do it for your industrial training yeah that's that's true actually because whatever the question will be in the interview if you cannot handle them confidently then if you know everything even if you you cannot get the chance that's it yeah so the willingness and confidence is must yeah okay so uh, the, these are the things you handled uh, for your day to day uh, task also yes okay that's great and uh, one more question regarding the advanced itt and uh, uh, mcs as now the criteria is 18 months so generally uh, before 18 months uh, people are not you know uh, able to finish their uh, advanced itt and mcs so whether the company will allow extra leaves for advanced itt or mcs or how will this work like if 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 we are talking about hl then how will this work there See, in HUL, we don't get extra leaves for MCS and advanced ITT because in our team also we do have a trainees which are are doing training for eighteen mm-hmm. months. Mm-hmm. What they do is uh, they attend because there are morning sessions also in advanced ITT and MCS. So mm-hmm. you can do that, and because one or two are you must might be getting extended for your evening time. So what you can do is you can attend the morning sessions and the evening uh, evening time you can. Uh, Uh, a lot yeah, to your to work. work also yes yeah. so because okay. the timing is from 7 to 2 or 7 to 12 like this hmm. so that time 10 to 12 the office time you can allot in evening so yeah. that way you can because the i don't think the company because in industrial training you must be knowing that we get the leaves of 3.5 or hardly yeah. four months in mm-hmm. rare cases four months does four it mean not even i don't months. think so but like <laughs> very few of the companies are allowing the four months yeah. three months is the minimum three. i think yeah yes three or 3.5 months in actual we get 3.5 months leave so 3.5 yeah. months leave we get so in those leaves we can adjust in the morning session okay because how- there, there is no uh, particular notification which have come from ig that we should yeah. be getting leave in a certain day so there is no clarity about us yeah because what ha- what can happen is if we willing to take leave and uh, that will not that will be counted as a leave in our article ship period and it can might extend yes. our article ship also so we have to be very cautious about these things also so that's why the question arises and uh, i think this is it because uh, most of the people wants to know about the profile and uh, work experience and uh, interview questions uh, most uh, for the people who are willing to go for industrial training and the other things like the stipend and study leave these are the things which are mostly most of the people know actually because now yeah. it is a very hype uh, around the c industrial training so a lot of people know this so i think that this is it for this session and uh, thank you for taking your time out on the weekend also to uh, have this session and uh, share your wonderful insights and i hope this video and uh, this session will be helpful to a lot of people people uh, will get to know about a lot of things about the interview questions you shared about the work experience and also so thank you for this uh, thank you thank you priya also for inviting me yeah